today we're going to add colour and tone to our sketches from last lesson. So you'll need your sketch in front of you here. Now colour, remember we can create different colours by layering two colours on top of each other. So for example you could layer red and yellow to create your orange colour or blue and yellow to create your green colour for example. So that's how we're going to create colour as well. You can also pick the colours you need if you cannot create the colour by layering. Um, and we're also going to um, think about tone, so our light and dark areas, because that is what tone is. So remember, if we want a lighter area, we spread our dots out further. And if we want a darker area, then we put place our dots closer together. Now remember we are using the pointillism technique so we'll be dotting okay using that stippling technique. Now I'm going to start with my apple. Now my apple was red, yellow and orange okay that's the colours I can see. Now I know I, by looking at my items because I've got my items in front of me again which you should have too um, that this is the darkest area of my apple, so the left hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making sure my red dots are close together all down this side because this is the darkest part of my apple. So I'm just making sure they're really close together down this side and it comes out a bit here as well. So this is still the darkest area. I'm just going to fill that in a little bit more. Right, so I know my darkest area of my apple is there. Now I can see some yellows mixing in over here, okay? And I can also see there's a really light area here. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to dot around this light patch here, this circle, and that's going to remind me to keep that white, okay? So now I'm going to just start spreading my red dots out a bit further because this area isn't as dark as the left hand side of my apple. But also I want to um, add those yellow colours into my apple as well. Okay, so I'm doing these in between. I can see some orangey effects down this side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer my red on here and then to create my orange I'm going to layer over the top of that with my yellow okay so then hopefully creating that orangey effect that we want there Okay, I'm going to add the, add the odd colour there, but I'm not the odd dot there, sorry, just to blend it in a bit, but I'm keeping that area spaced out because that is the lightest area. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue with my red dots, spreading them out a bit more than the left hand side because it is a lighter area. Okay, and I can see some orangey, an orangey colour here. So I'm going to try and overlay those to create that orangey colour. And then I'm just going to spread my yellow dots out in between where the orange colour isn't. Now remember to make your brown, okay, you can um, layer red, yellow and blue. So I'm going to put my red down first. And I'm going to put my blue, still using your pointillism technique. Okay, and then over the top of those, I'm going to put my yellow to start to create that brown effect. There, I'm just putting a bit more red because it was turning a bit green. Okay, so you can create that there. And then I might just do the odd red one, a few red dots here. So that's how you can use colour, think about colour and tone when filling out one of your items.